What will you do if someday you come across a situation where a man is lying on the floor unconscious of cardiac arrest and no one is around to help him, but you? This brings us to today's topic on basic life support. CPR is a basic life-saving technique that should be known not only by medical personnel but also by common people. CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation, which means to revive the heart and lungs during cardiac arrest. When you are at the scene, first make sure that the place is safe and less crowded. Assess the responsiveness of the patient by stimulating or speaking to the patient. If unresponsive, first call the emergency response team by yourself or if you have someone near you, point him to call the emergency and ask him to bring AED if present around. Place the patient supine on hard flat surface. Check for carotid pulsation with your index and middle finger for 5 to 10 seconds. Do not check for more than 10 seconds. If the patient has pulse, check for breathing and observe the chest movement. If breathing is absent, provide 10 rescue breaths per minute and recheck pulse every 2 minutes. If the patient does not have pulse, begin 5 cycles of CPR. So, what are the things you need to know before starting CPR? Provide 100 to 120 compressions per minute, which is 30 compressions every 15 to 18 seconds. For this, place your palm midline one over the other on lower one third of patient's sternum between the nipples. Lock the arm as shown in the figure. Use the heel of lower hand to press to depth about 2 inches on the patient's chest. Make sure to keep up the pace but don't forget to allow for full chest recoil with each compression. And for rescue breaths, lift the chin of the patient and close the nostrils and give rescue breaths through the mouth. For adults, provide two rescue breaths for every 30 chest compressions in one cycle. If two providers are present, switch rule between compressor and rescue breath every five cycles. Continue CPR until emergency help arrives. Providing CPR in case of children and infant can be complicated due to fragile bone structures, so you'll have to be more careful while performing it. For infants, place your two finger on the breastbone, make sure not to press on ribs, then begin compression. Press down about 1 to 1 and half inches in infants at the same rate as adult, with two rescue breaths per 15 compressions. Whereas, for children, give compressions using the heel of your one hand down about 2 inches into the cavity. Use an AED as soon as one is available. For that, turn on the AED. The AED will give you step-by-step -step instructions. Wipe the chest dry and attach the pads as shown in the instructions. If shock is indicated and suggested by AED, assure no one is touching the patient or is in mutual contact with a good conductor of electricity by yelling clear and press the shock button. Then resume 5 cycles of CPR. Once the subject is revitalized, getting him to the near medical facility shouldn't be a problem. And congratulations, you just saved a life. However, do not practice this technique on a normal person. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care.